Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kit. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. So question is what is the correct order of structure X and Y? So you can see here it's a multi-step reaction. So in this context I suggest everyone to pause this video, try it on a pen and paper and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box. If possible please write some justification for selecting your result. Okay, I believe you have tried, so let's start. Since it's a multi-step reaction, so I would suggest go follow mechanism. But before going to the mechanism, I want to discuss little bit about this compound which is called as active methylene compound. Means here if you look at, so one side is actually CH3 attached to this ketone, then one CH2 in between ketone and this ester. I mean in between the ester carbonyl and this ketone carbonyl. So this CH2 is actually significantly acidic compared to this one or this one. Why? Because whenever we, are, we talk about the acidity of molecule, we need to check the stability of conjugate base. The rule is that higher the stability of conjugate base, higher is the acidity. So this is my conjugate base or CB. Means obviously the proton removed form. Okay, this conjugate base has two stability. So one resonance with this carbonyl group. So you can draw one resonance. Another resonance you can draw by involving the another one carbonyl, a star carbonyl. So first one is keto carbonyl, another is a star carbonyl. So you can say two canonical form possible. What is the message? So here two canonical form means two delocalization, means more delocalization. So higher the delocalization, higher the stabilization. So these carbon ion will be produced easily by removal of proton. So this is the story of the acidity of methyl acetoacetate. So I can say this proton is the most acidic. So consequently, if you give any stronger base, actually weak base is also enough, but LDA is actually a stronger base in this context. So this is LDA's diisopropyl amide negative charge. Now it's a strong base, but this proton is maximum acidic. And here, how much I have taken 1.1, this is very important, this amount. I shall discuss at the end a very interesting concept. So please watch until the end. So here, what happened? This negative charge abstract this proton. By the way, remember, because of this 2 diisopropyl group, this LDA act as base. It cannot act as nucleophile. Now, it abstract this proton. What it generate? It generate the carbon ion. Okay, so this is my carbon ion, the resonance stability part I have discussed previously. Now this carbon ion can act as nucleophile because carbon center is actually softer in nature and it is a better nucleophile. So what it will do? It will attack this position. By the way, this position is also called allylic position or you can say it is allyl bromide. So allyl substrates are more active for both SN1 and SN2. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this. You may visit for further learning. Actually, there are few molecules who can perform SN1 and SN2 both efficiently. Now, this molecule can, under, can participate in SN2 reaction efficiently. So, what it will happen? These will attack here. It will leave. So, what will happen? So, in this case, this carbon will be attached here. By the way, this carbon hybridization is sp3. Do not get confused. So this active methylene compound attached here, sp3 carbon. Now, next point. Next point, you are giving lithium aluminum hydride. Now remember, lithium aluminum hydride can act as base as well as nucleophile. So you can say, sir, this proton abstraction possible. Yes, I agree possible, but that will not have any fate. So let's focus on where's the fate happen. So lithium aluminum hydride is actually a reducing agent. It produces nucleophilic hydride and that hydride is significantly stronger reactive such that it can reduce both ketone to secondary alcohol, ester to primary alcohol. So what is the product after this reduction OH? which you may consider that there is an anion but it doesn't have that much amount of stability after the reduction so I'm not writing that. So you can ignore. So this is CH2OH. So this part is my primary alcohol and this part is my secondary alcohol. But remember lithium aluminum hydride is actually a basic reagent. So if you want to get your target product, you need to do workup. So for that purpose, this H3O plus or acidic workup done such that you can get this product completely. 
Okay, so this is the overall discussion. So actually after workup, you get this compound, not directly before workup. So this is the structure of Y. Now let's go to the answer. So what is the answer? So first, new, this allyl bromide will attach this carbon, point number one, first step we understood. So where this thing observed, by the way, look at here, this allyl group attached this carbon. By the way, there is some conceptual clarity I shall discuss after some time. So not possible nucleophilic attack at this position. So option B gone. Now look at option D also gone. So this is called student process of elimination. When question is little bit lengthy, you need to apply such kind of techniques such that you can reduce time. Now fine here one I understand. Okay, alkylation takes place here. Fine, this is the my X, it is done now, what about Y? So Y case both carbon will be reduced. Now look at here, one ketone reduced but not ester. Remember a, this lithium aluminum hydride is a stronger reducing agent, stronger nucleophile that it reduces ester to primary alcohol also. So here you can see that thing. So this is the answer. By the way, this question is a combination of lots of concepts. So if you get this question, you need to understand that these active methylene protons are significantly acidic. So LDA will deprotonate it. Now SN2 type reaction will happen here and ultimately produce this alkyl substituted part at this carbon. If you understand this, so option B and D gone. Now after that you need to understand lithium aluminum hydride, very strong reducing agent. So both of the carbonyl, keto carbonyl and ester carbonyl will be reduced. So your answer is this one. It's easy if you learn the concept properly. Now, let's go to another point, additional point. If 2.1 equivalent of LDA use, then what will be the situation? Remember, 2.1 equivalent, by the way, you may think, sir, previously also 1.1 equivalent, right now 2.1 equivalent, why this extra? Remember, LDA is actually a hygroscopic molecule, means if any moisture present in the reaction medium, that can react with LDA and that can destroy the reagent, means this diisopropyl amine will be produced and that is a wastage of reagent. So in order to prevent that waste slight excess reagent is taken by the way when you do such kind of reaction anhydrous environment means anhydrous solvent moisture free gas like nitrogen environment etc needed. Now that's why this slight extra amount taken such that complete conversion can be obtained. Now LDA 2.1 equivalent remember the first equivalent of LDA will abstract this proton. Now the second equivalent of the LDA will abstract this proton. Now question right now two carbon ion is generated which one will act as a nucleophile means SN2 for these allyl bromide. For that purpose you need to understand at which carbon the charge density higher. Remember one concept. When your nucleophilic position means attacking post center is same both are carbon then who has higher charge density that will act as a better nucleophile. Similar explanation I guess you have observed water versus hydroxide. So both case oxygen is the attacking center, but in case of hydroxide, there is a negative charge means you can say excess of electron. So extra electron is the, here on this O minus. That's why it is actually better nucleophile. Repeat the word. It is a better nucleophile than water. So similarly, this carbon ion case, it has only one resonance, this. So you can expect this. By the way, student, I always suggest in home practice drawing structure, it is important. Now this case as I already told so in this case there are two canonical forms possible one canonical form in this way so O minus this is double actually it produces enolate and another canonical form you can expect that this will give it will open so what it will produce this is keto the here also stabilization possible. So from these you can clearly understand that this negative charge is more delocalized. So if it is more delocalized the charge density on this carbon is relatively less. So this carbon center will act as the nucleophile and by the way here nothing written means one equivalent of allyl bromide is taken. So alkylation will happen here after that same logic that two carbonyl will be reduced. So from here you can get the primary alcohol and from here secondary alcohol. So what will be the final product here? So by the way, what will be X at this situation? At this situation X will be this one. This is your X. What will be Y? Just both will be reduced. So this is OH, this is CO, sorry CH2. OH primary alcohol. 
Okay, so do not get confused. So CH2OH. So these will be the product. So this is the overall discussion. I believe you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. And if you really enjoy the content of my channel, please help this channel to grow. And please do not get confused about the logo of my channel. I request you to read this to this part. I guess your doubt will be cleared. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.